Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 166. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 155 to 167. Hey, Trick 166, we want to compare creating text formulas with the ampersand and the concatenate function. Now, what we want to do is have a phrase, the payment is $10 at a rate of 10%. Now I'm going to do it um, with the ampersand first, then we'll do it with the concatenate and look at each one. Um, equals, and then because we're going to have text in this text formula, we want to put it in quotes. The payment is space, and then double quote, and then ampersand. Now, when you're typing formulas out not using the concatenate, you have to remember to put the double quotes and all the spaces and double quotes so that when you enter all of it looks like a regular sentence. Now I'm going to click on this 10 right there. And actually I'm going to click back here and put a dollar sign so that it'll appear like it has the format dollar sign. Now notice when I did that I had to come right um, before the double quote. If I hit enter right now, it says the payment is $10. And if I were to change this to 11, the label would update. Now we have to continue because that's not all. We're going to do ampersand because we have to now join a third element in quotes. And now we have to do a space at a rate of space double quote. Uh, ampersand at a rate of, and we'll click right there. Let's go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to double click this right here. It says at a rate of 0.1. Well, I'm going to leave it just for now just so we can compare how we created this one here. And we'll go ahead and use the uh, concatenate function. We'll come back later and fix that 0.1 and make it uh, a percent. Now let's do um, concatenate equals concatenate. And I'm going to go click the F of X button and type it into the uh, dialog box, the functions argument dialog box. Now the advantage to doing this is you don't have to know as much syntax. Remember when we did it by hand with the ampersand we had to know where to put the double quotes and then the ampersand symbol and everything. Now all you have to do is uh, put the text in and it will do it for us. So the first part is this is the payment is space dollar sign. And then I'm going to go to the next text back by hitting tab. Notice it gives us a preview. It puts in all of the um, uh, dollar signs for, I mean the, uh, the quotes for us. Now the next thing we want is this 11. And then I'm going to tab. And now I'm going to put space at a rate of space tab. And I'm going to click on this point one right here. Now the advantage to uh, doing it here again is that you don't have to remember to put in all of these uh, quotes and whatnot because it'll put it in for us and we don't have to use the ampersand. Click OK. Now I'm going to come back here. There is a little problem here. I hit the uh, wrong symbol. I'm going to hit F2 here. It's not ampersand. It is a uh, dollar sign. All right, so we have the, the same two elements. Again, with this, you have to know the syntax with the concatenate you don't. Now, let's fix this up a little bit. Instead of putting this dollar sign here, I'm going to get rid of it. And there's an actual function called dollar that is built exactly for this. It takes a number, in our case from a cell reference, and converts it to a formatted text string. So I'm going to put dollar function and close parentheses. By default, it, it rounds it for formatting to the penny. Now the dollar applies currency format. I'm going to hit enter. Hey, look at that. Now we'll uh, click in the cell and hit F2. Now here there's a couple ways we could do this. We could uh, cheat and put a uh, percent symbol here and then multiply this by 100. Uh, wrong order. It would have to be <laughs> not right there. We'd have to ampersand at the end and then uh, double quote, percent sign, double quote. So you could do it that way. Another way to do it instead of doing it that way is simply get rid of all that junk and use the text function, T-E-X-T. -E and you have to know custom number format for this. So there's the value, comma, and then in quotes, 0.00, .00 percentage symbol. That 
is number formatting. Uh, and you have to know custom number formatting and put it in quotes as the second argument in text. Uh, finally, down here, we could uh, use the concatenate, get rid of the dollar sign. And right in, um, we could do this up in the dialog box. But here, I'm just going to put dollar, open parentheses, open parentheses. So you could do it that way. Or we could click in the cell and go back to the dialog box. And right here, we could type uh, text, open parentheses, and then comma, double quote, 0, 0.00, percentage symbol, end quote, close parentheses. And notice now it delivers that, uh, and you click OK. So that's a little bit comparing about ampersand, concatenate, and looking at the dollar and the text functions. All right, see you next trick.